Good afternoon. We have just finished a meeting of the North Atlantic Council. We addressed uh, yesterday's explosion in the east of Poland on the border uh, with Ukraine. Our top military commander, General Cavoli, briefed allies, and the Polish ambassador updated us on the incident and the ongoing investigation. Yesterday's explosion took place as Russia launched a massive wave of rocket attacks across Ukraine. Since the start of Russia's illegal war in Ukraine, NATO has increased uh, vigilance across our eastern flank, and we are monitoring the situation on a continuous basis. And Investigation into this incident is ongoing, and we need to await its outcome. But we have no indication that this was the result of a deliberate attack. And we have no indication that Russia is preparing offensive military actions against NATO. Our preliminary analysis suggests that the incident was likely caused by a Ukrainian air defense missile fired to defend Ukrainian territory against Russian cruise missile attacks. But let me be clear. This is not Ukraine's fault. Russia bears ultimate responsibility as it continues its illegal war against Ukraine. In the meeting today, NATO allies offered their deepest condolences on the tragic loss of life. They expressed their strong solidarity with our valued allied Poland and made clear that we will continue to support Ukraine in its right to self-defense. Russia must stop this senseless war. Last night, I spoke with the Polish President Andrzej Duda and with President, US President Joe Biden. We agreed uh, that we need to stay vigilant, calm and closely coordinated. We will continue to consult and monitor the situation very closely. NATO stands united and we will always do what is necessary to protect and defend all allies. And with that, I'm ready to take your questions.